Exploring the holy habit of eating together, it's important to remember that this is not about endless faith suppers with never-ending quiches and celery sticks. This is a timeless, godly practice that brings people together, that nurtures us in body, mind and spirit, and helps us to live fulsomely as God intends us to. Eating together is also a great, great way of building community, of blessing others, whether they be friend or stranger, inviting somebody to share a meal with us is an incredibly warm and generous act to be involved with. Church Without Walls, we always have food. So at Forest Church today, we came together, as we always do, to start with breakfast, bacon butties, my kids' favourites, uh, mini cereals, pastries. We follow that by going out into nature. It is Forest Church after all. And we share on a walk together and talk and prayers as we enjoy the real beauty of God's creation. Uh, for us, eating together, breaking bread together, sharing meals together is at the heart of what it is to be a Christian community because food brings us together as a people of God and that is a really special thing. I once had to go to Barbados, I was there on my own, didn't know a soul, there was a bank holiday, there was picnics in the park and I was overwhelmed by people inviting me to come and join in their picnics. That was a lesson I brought home with me the power of inviting people to share food and something to be practised. Well, this is Breakfast Church. I, uh, I describe Breakfast Church as beautiful chaos. And it's a uh, worship, bespoke worship really for people who uh, may be not used to church. Yeah, for, for us, um, it's about getting this message over uh, of God's love uh, in Jesus for, for everyone. Um, uh, yeah, if you want to start Breakfast Church, it's uh, find the volunteers first. Uh, people are enthusiastic about working with families and children and young people. And just go for it. Just uh, give it a go. In our churches, we can open up and be generous to others. One church I know in North Wales invited their local councillors around for a meal. The councillors were deeply suspicious of why they were being invited. They thought they just wanted a long list of favours off the church, but the church did it purely and simply as an act of hospitality and generosity to those people, and it transformed relationships. At the heart of our building, is the church-led Living Hope coffee shop. The coffee shop is becoming a community hub and it works on a pay-what-you-can basis so that no one is excluded. We are seeing Jesus change lives here in Will. Many people say how eating together has brought different cultures and nationalities together within churches. We don't mean to stand apart from each other, but there's something about getting together around a meal table that brings people together. It honours the cultures that people have come from. It builds fellowship. It brings people together. <laughs>